Governor of India Draupadi Murmu will be holding a dinner tonight for the outgoing cabinet. The farewell dinner will be hosted at Rashtrapati Bhavan. The term of the 17th Lok Sabha ends on the 16th of June and a new government will now soon be formed. Uh, Manohar Kesri is still right with us. Uh, Manohar, uh, Pri President Murmu to host a farewell dinner today. आज रात में आठ बजे प्रधानमंत्री राष्ट्रपति के माफ कीजिएगा राष्ट्रपति द्रौपदी मुर्मू ने आज डिनर पार्टी का आयोजन किया है प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी ए 2.0 के कार्यकाल के तमाम कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर को बुलाया गया है और एक विदाई समारोह का एक ट्रेडिशनल परंपरा सरकार में रही है कि अगर नई सरकार का गठन होता है तो राष्ट्रपति फॉर्मली जो है तो इस तरह की विदाई समारोह का आयोजन और डिनर पार्टी का आयोजन करती है तो आज रात में इस डिनर पार्टी का आयोजन किया जा रहा है प्रधानमंत्री का ये 2.0 का कार्यकाल है 16 जून को खत्म हो रहा है तो ऐसी स्थिति में नई सरकार का गठन होना है और एनडीए को जो अभी पूर्ण बहुमत मिला है तो ऐसी स्थिति में जो रीजनल पार्टियां स्ट्रॉन्ग होती है और हुई है खास करके अगर देखेंगे तो 2014 के बाद जो स्थिति रही है उसमें बीजेपी को लगातार फुल मेजोरिटी मिली है लेकिन इस बार नहीं मिली है और क्षेत्रीय पार्टियां जो रीजनल पार्टियां हैं वो देखिए इस बार 2024 के लोकसभा चुनाव का जो रिजल्ट आया है उसमें तमाम राज्यों से रीजनल पार्टियां काफी ज्यादा स्ट्रॉन्ग हुई है चाहे समाजवादी पार्टी की बात हो टीडीपी की बात हो या फिर जेडीयू की बात हो हालांकि जेडीयू के पिछले बाद से सीटें कम आई है तो ऐसी स्थिति में टीडीपी और जेडीयू की भूमिका में है तो आज जो है तो एनडीए की बैठक होगी सरकार और इस पे आगे की रणनीति पर फैसला किया जाएगा लेकिन उससे पहले राष्ट्रपति द्रौपदी मुर्मू जो है सो आज रात में डिनर पार्टी का आयोजन कर रही है मोदी 2.0 का विदाई समारोह जी जी मनोहर बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया हमारे संग जुड़ने के लिए वापस हम अपने तमाम मेहमानों के पास लौटते हैं लेट्स क्विकली गो क्रॉस टू देशरत निगम हुज ऑल्सो लाइव विद आस अनि धीमन ऑल्सो कंटिन्यूज टू बी विद लाइव विद आस टी के गिरी इज ऑल्सो लाइव विद आस देशरत निगम यू नो ड्यू बिलीव वी गॉट अ बिट ऑफ द टोन एंड टेनर ऑफ मोदी 3.0 थ्रू व्हाट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेड लास्ट इवनिंग ऑल्सो हाउ डू यू रिस्पॉन्ड टू द पॉइंट दैट सनी धीमन सेड अर्लियर अबाउट द फैक्ट दैट नरेंद्र मोदी इज गोइंग टू हैव अ tough time dealing with allies he believes that uh, uh, bjp does not understand coalition dharma he is making that charge your response today, today let me tell you prime minister's speech was very clear so far as their future vision is concerned and my corruption your corruption i think we should get out of it and focus simply on corruption and needs to be eradicated whichever party it is in and certainly the to say that bjp cannot or the prime minister cannot work under the coalitions when they received 282 seats in 2014 they never required any you know partners but they still went around with all their coalition partners in fact added some of them and some of some of them supported from outside also even in 2019 when they had 303 they continued with all their partners and 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 took along the side with them when they had absolute majority 303 and therefore to say that he will not be able to carry the coalition no they carry their coalition despite the fact that they have absolute majority whether uh, the uh, you know government works properly or not the time will tell but uh, when the like minded people are there in, in a coalition with you know somewhere about 300 seats i think that it would be smooth sailing and and it would be agenda based governance which which will be there i don't think any party can say that they don't want a vixen power or, or uh, they don't want corruption to be eradicated or they would don't want gdp to grow robustly as the international uh, organizations are saying or or even otherwise you know the pakka houses should be given to the people or not i mean nobody can say they cannot be given or or the toilets or the ujjwala yojana or the mudra loans crores and crores of mudra loans nobody can say that that has to be not to be given and therefore today we have to focus on the agenda that uh, all political parties need to come on the same page so far as development agenda is concerned they may differ in terms of you know the process of achieving that that is understandable they have their own way of achieving the same agenda and that that is where constructive constructive criticism comes into the play and i expect opposition this time not to walk out and must you know uh, give their inputs in uh, the parliament once you walk out it's, it's the laws are passed without any critical analysis the improvements in the laws are not made yes the best of the minds apply their mind but the opposition's view does not come into the picture that is where some 
you know, fine tuning in the law is done by the. Okay, DK Giri wants to respond to you. DK Giri, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to make one point about, uh, uh, in respond to your point, actually, the political parties working together. In fact, the other definition of democracy, apart from having majority, is the respect for dissent and maintaining ethical standards. I think, in the, uh, to my knowledge and memory, no party has behaved responsibly as an opposition, including BJP. You know, towards the last term of uh, Monsing, they washed out the entire session by working out. You know, 2G, they were demanding a joint probe to the 2G scam and all that. So, uh, the Sratam Nigam, I would join him. He sounds very ethical and accommodative today. And, you know, there is a saying everybody should remember, I think, it's from, Shakespeare, from Shakespeare, that, you know, in victory, magnanimity, in defeat, revenge. You see, the, when the ruling party has to be more magnanimous and response, the owners lies in the ruling party, you know, to take everybody together. You see, so that has not happened, unfortunately. So, it, you are right, the parliamentary standards have declined. Parliamentary debates have not taken place, and that should change. Respect for the parliament. I remember when Narendra Modi ji entered the parliament in 2009, uh, no, sorry, 2014, he touched the floor of the parliament, the stairs of the parliament, he said, I'm entering the temple of democracy. How motivating and inspiring a message he gave to the country. But then you look at the behavior in the parliament, the bills were yes. not uh, shared with the opposition. And there was no discussion at all. Okay. And everything was ram -rod. So that is, you know, it, it, the onus lies on the ruling party. All Who, right. Whichever, whoever it is. All right. My thanks to all of our guests for joining us on this discussion. We've run completely out of time. Uh, let's take a short break. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.